Hello, this is Charlie Zorro, and welcome to episode 14 in the Adventures of Denisha. Denisha's currently in Michael Delving, and so we're going to go ahead real quick and go over here to the park because they redid the park in Michael Delving when they decided to go ahead and consolidate the servers. And one thing that's very cool is there's monuments here for each server. And so since we were originally on Winfola, I believe this is the one. So this is our monument. This is, uh, this is the one for Winfola and it's showing all the first worlds and then all the top players who contributed to the Winfola Bounders bounty. So it's, it's a kind of a nice monument. I, I'm very happy that they did it. Uh, and I'm glad that they did it for all the servers. So even though the server, there's quite a few that no longer exist, like Winfola, at least there is a, uh, there's a tribute, which is really nice. So one thing we're going to do today is we're going to go up and do a special quest for, I believe he's called Bingo Baggins. Oh, wait a minute. There's somebody over here. Ah, uh, yes. We have now joined the Bounders. And I tell you what, real quick, I'm curious. See, that's her outfit. Whoop, wonder why it didn't take. Because I put it on the wrong one. No, I don't think so. I think I like it without the hat. I like seeing her hair. Okay. Well, let's go find our little friend. Now, Turbines introduced a weekly quest for Bingo. A pleasant day to you, friend. Okay. If you have a moment or two to spare, do you think I might trouble you for a spell? My name is Bingo of the Delvingville Boffins, and it is so rare for me to see new folk on the path that run by my hole. It is a pleasure to meet you. I have been feeling a mite lonely these days, you see, and could use a festification on the horizon to put a spring in my step and to occupy my thoughts. Perhaps a dinner party would do the trick. Yes, that sounds capital. I will invite my neighbors and you as well. Oh, and you as well, of course. Could you run down to Michael Delving's market and assess some of the produce on display? Tell me what looks good, particularly delicious, and that may give me a spark of inspiration for a course or three to serve at my party. Okay, we'll give him a hand. Now, what they're doing is for the, I shouldn't say for the next 52 weeks, because this has been running for, for a bit, but every week for a year, Turbine is going to introduce a new quest for Bingo. And they they release it on Wednesday. And it's part of his adventure exploring Middle Earth. So it, it's kind of a neat little side thing to do. We're only going to do the first one today. Um, and because one of the rewards that you get is a cosmetic rabbit. And I kind of think that that would be kind of cool if Denisha had one. So let's run over here and we're going to take a look at the produce. Okay, the apples look good. How about the taters? Hmm, taters look good. Whoop. Vegetables look good. And we're up. We're missing something. Let's run over here. Uh, no, we're not contemplating any villainies. Your pies are safe. So 
So let's go ahead and run back. Actually, let's run through here. If you haven't been to Michael Delving since they uh, they redecorated it, or if you know if you're a brand new player, it's definitely worth taking the time to to stop through and spend some time there. The the new garden is really pretty. It took some getting used to, but it, it's still pretty. Did any of the food capture your fancy? Okay. So we let Bingo know what we found out about the food. And then he says, that is both a wonderful thing and a pity because it makes it very difficult to decide what to serve at my party. I need more than just an account of the ingredients, I suppose. I need a cookbook. There's a library in the Great Smells in Tuckboro. Would you mind terribly a quick trip to the library to check out a cookbook on my behalf? Perhaps leafing through such a book will give me a good idea of what to serve. And so, yes, we will definitely do that. Uh, one thing that you will rapidly find out if you decide to do these weekly bingo quests is that there's a lot of running back and forth and it it, it can be time consuming but it's you know it's part of the game so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'll meet you as we get close to Tuckboro okay welcome back we've entered Tuckland and we're about to enter Tuckboro All right, and here's the Great Schmalls. This is one of the local taverns. So it's kind of cool. Tell you what, we'll pick up these quests, but first let's go ahead and get the cookbook. I really wish we could get more like this painting as a housing decoration. That would be so cool. It would also be nice to be able to line up our bookcases like that, but I understand the yes? limitation. Can I help you find something in particular? Okay. We tell her that we're looking for a cookbook. Okay, so she's going to let us pick one out. And let's just grab this one. It doesn't probably doesn't matter. Okay, she smiles and writes down our name on a piece of parchment. Okay. And now we just need to go ahead and bring the cookbook back to bingo. But first, let's pick up a couple of these quests. Let's see what Mr. Took Might here I wants. Trouble you for some help? Uh, I am as sorry as the straits, but I must make you swear to tell no one else of my troubles. Okay. My library is haunted. As difficult as it may be to believe, I think it is the ghost of the old Took. I think the troubles darkening the Shire of late have disturbed him like those bears over in the east of here. They were never so aggressive in his day. Wait, perhaps that's it. The old Took was known for slaying a great bear in his time. If you could bring me the pelts of a few bears, maybe it will ease his spirit. It will show the Shire is still safe. Okay, well, we can certainly take time to go do that. And there was a lady over here. Please, stay a moment. Let's see. I need your help. I made a terrible mistake and listened to Esmabar and Embert, my full cousins. You see, old... Adelard is always lecturing us young Tooks on the history of the family, and, well, it does get tiring. Okay, my dis cousins have decided to play a trick on him and convince him to sneak away with the latest chapter of Alderwer's wrote... Okay, I think we're going to skip this one. So, let's go ahead and go defeat the bears. Whoops. If we can get out. Oh, and that's a good view of, of Tuckboro.
Ah, there's the bears, so let's go ahead. There's one pelt. Oh, and he's... That was really cool, him just being in the air. Two down. And that makes three. Two hobbits playing under a tree. Oh, the Great Willow. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm sorry, my thoughts were elsewhere. Okay. While he's doing that, I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh, and now he's back. I hope it's not a bother, but may I speak with you? Oh dear, the ghost is still troubling my library. In fact, the moment I took a step in it, it raised such a racket that gave me a terrible fright. Let's see. I am so fluttered that I don't think I will be able to eat supper. Wait, food. Like most hobbits, the old Took had an affection for his vittles, especially spiced boar ribs. Okay. Go speak to my niece, El Adlina Proudfoot. Okay, let's go talk to her and see what we can do. And she should be right around the corner. Hello there. Uh, how rude! What do you mean, how rude? Alright, we need to go and take out some boars and collect the boar ribs. Here's one juicy boar. And number two. And let's see. Nope, you're a deer, you're safe. Ah, there's another boar. Okay. Run back real quick with the four ribs. Cannot a body be left alone? Well, that's a hobbit for you. Okay, let's bring the spice four ribs back to Mr. Took. Let's see if this will get rid of his old ghost. It's terrible! Just terrible! Nope, doesn't look like it took care of it. I'm sure it's a bother, but I could use your help. Okay, the ghost is still in his library. So he would like us to go, it looks like, if we can get a rock, oh I see, if we can get a rocket and fire it, it might appease his ghost. 
So we need to go speak to Keeper Brombard Foxtail and Michael Delving at the Matham House. Okay. I tell you what, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, and I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and I'll meet you back in Michael Delving. Okay, we're back in Michael Delving with Bingo, so let's go ahead this and complete like his quest. Thing. Wait, what's this? Bingo takes the cookbook from you and begins to leaf through it when a folded parchment falls out from between the pages. The curious hobbit picks it up and unfolds it. What's this? Why, it's a map! Somebody left a map in this cookbook, Denisha. Borrow Downs, Weather Hills, Stone Trolls, Stone Trolls Glade. Look at these pictures, my friend. Do you think these are real places? Bah, I cannot let my mind wander up to these places. I have a, a party to plan. Bring this map to the Matham House, Denisha. I do not need it, and I do not want it. Okay, well, we're kind of headed to the Matham House anyway, so we're going to kill two birds with one stone. So let's just go up here. And there's the Matham House. Ah, excellent. Here's Mr. Foxtail. Let's see. Last the do? fireworks. We'll do the fireworks first. So he's going to give us the fireworks and we want to bring them to the methyl stage in Bywater. Okay, well we can look at doing that. Now, let's go ahead and give him the map. Good day. Oh, and Bingo has appeared. I changed my mind. I do not want. I do not want that the map to gather dust inside the Matham House. I want to learn more about the places it depicts. I want to wander the Weather Hills, walking stick in hand. I want to see Rivendell. Are there really elves there? Well, since I'm an elf, yeah, there there really are. You are an elf. Have you ever been to Rivendell? Well, nope, not yet. I will keep the map, Denisha, and I will make use of it to chart my adventure. Okay, good for him. So now we want to return to his hobbit hole. Which is just down the hill and across the road. So you're very, very close. An adventure will be just the thing, but I will need your help. Okay, so this is the end of the first adventure, and you'll be getting bingo badges as rewards, which you can cash in for you know various rewards and things like that for, for bartering. Uh, as it shows here, the, the next week or the next episode is going to be a recommended level of nine, so you can certainly start these adventures at a very low level, but you'll want to keep up with the levels as they go up. Uh, we are going to go ahead and finish I now. I need to train for the adventure if I am to have success. Okay, but we're not going to take up the second one. So let's go ahead and I do want Denisha to go ahead and get her rabbit. So the uh, barterer is going to be over by the stable master. So he's just down the road. And he will move as Bingo moves. So as Bingo moves out into Middle Earth, um, the barterer will also move. So you don't always have to worry about coming back here to Michael Delving to cash in and, you know, and get your rewards. Although he will always be here, so you can always find out where Bingo is going to be next. So we want to go ahead and buy I have collected many fine items during my travels. Yep. And there's a variety of items you can get. We're going to get the Tome of the Brown Rabbit. Whoops.
Okay. And now Denisha has a little brown rabbit here, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And sometimes you have to do it twice. And there he is! There's our little brown rabbit. Pull back a little bit. That's neat. I'm so happy that they've introduced more of the cosmetic pets. Okay. So now we need to go find the stage by Bywater. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And we'll pick up as we get closer to the stage. So we'll be right back. Okay, we just arrived in Bywater, so we're going to go ahead and go up to the stage. We just want to follow this little path. And there's the methyl stage, so we want to go ahead. And set off the fireworks. Whee! And there's our little bunny. And that's all we need to do. So now we need to go ahead and go back to Tuckboro and talk to Mr. Tuck. So I'll meet you back there. Okay, we're back at the Great Schmelz. So let's go ahead. Please, leave me to my sorrow. Okay. So we've set off the fireworks. Now let's go see if the ghost is still there. Could I take a moment of your time? I am simply at my wit's end. Nothing we have done has appeased the old Took's ghost. I can think of nothing else to do. I will never have my library back. What to do? What to do? Wait! No, it's too terrible to ask, but I must have my library back. You have done so much for me already, but could I ask you to muster up your courage and face the Otook's ghost yourself? With great caution, enter my library, and perhaps, since you have done so much to try and appease him, the Otook will grant you an audience. His presence seems to be strongest in the far corner of the room by my small bookshelf. Please do be careful. Well, considering that we have fought whites in Arid Lewin, going up against a hobbit ghost shouldn't be a big deal. So let's go back here. Oh, for crying out loud. There's a squirrel back here. Hey, little squirrel. So, we just need to convince the squirrel to leave the library. Come on. Come on, leave the library. Oh, yeah, and of course, Donna Mira isn't going to help. There we go. Come on, little guy. Go, go, go. So much for the ghost. I'm sorry. My thoughts were elsewhere. A squirrel? It was nothing but a, a foul gray squirrel? Oh my, this is embarrassing. What will others think if they hear about this? Oh, I know what they'll say. They'll say I'm mad as old Bilbo. Dear, oh dear, would it be too much to ask of you not to report this incident? I will be most pleased to put this business behind me and to think of all the trouble I put you through. I am so sorry to have been such a bother. Well, let's see. Dagger. We'll take the dagger and we'll keep his secret. So, let's go ahead and move on. All right. Well, there are other quests to do here in Tuckboro. 
we're not going to do them right now because I want to continue moving on in the next episode. But as you go through and you're adventuring in the Shire, especially if you're doing it at level, uh, there's certainly plenty to do around here. Um, so feel free to, to take a look. And right now, this is going to be where we're going to end the episode. And um, I certainly hope that you enjoyed it. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already. And until next time, safe journeys and take care.